Welcome to the Need for Excel lesson number six. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate product wise and month wise sales using an array formula. This video is somewhat like my lesson number four with a little bit more complication. So let's take a look at our database. I've got my invoice numbers, invoice date, customers, product names, quantity, price, amount, etc. etc. Now, this is the report where I've got my month names and my product names. And I want my monthly sales figures over here. So, before we start, uh, let me briefly discuss about the functions that I'm going to use. In my report, I cannot use a helper column for some reason. So, we'll have to look for a function that uh, where we can avoid a helper column. So, uh, these are the functions that I'll be using in this video. Month. Month returns the serial number of that particular month. Uh, so January being 1, December being 12. So this is March, so it will return 3. Similarly, February will return 2. June should return 6. Now rows. Uh, row returns the number of rows between a selection of range. So for example, if I select range A2 to A4, it should return 3. Because there are basically 3 rows between the range. 2, 3 and 4. Sum, I don't think uh, I should explain what the sum function does. Similarly with if. Now and. The ampersand operator. It can join 2 text strings. For example, if I select my string 1, I put the ampersand and my string 2. So I get a, a texting with both the values merged. So rows. Now I'll show you what I'm going to do with the rows function. I basically somehow want uh, the month serial numbers because I'll be getting my month serial numbers from this particular range. So to do that, I'll use the rows function a2 to a2 and I'll lock my first a2 using my f4 key. So basically there's only one row between a2 to a2. Now as I drag this formula down, the first a2 remains as it is and the second a2 now turns to a3. So now there are two rows, second, uh, second row and the third row. Similarly, uh, the second A2 is always going to change, it's always going to increase by one row. So this corresponds to my month serial numbers. For example, June gives me six. So I'm going to drag this down and drag this aside. So basically, I'm, I'm going to try to create one unique value by concatenating this value which we achieved right now, the month serial number and my product uh, name. So to do, do that, I'll use the ampersand and click on my first product. I'm going to lock the row reference because I don't want to uh, move the rows, row reference down when I drag my formula down. Hit enter. I get a unique value for all the cells. So I'm going to build my formula around this. Since I want sum, my first function is going to be sum. If. So I will have to write a logical test in such a way that it should return trues and falses to me. So my uh, the first part of the logical test is already written. Equals. Let's go to the database sheet. Now we somehow want the month serial numbers from this range. So let's input the month function. Now it's expecting a single value, but I'm going to give it an array of values, making it into an array, cal uh, array formula. I'm going to log this, bracket close, and the ampersand of uh, join operator. 
product name again it's expecting a single value i'm going to give it an array of values f4 to lock it back it close so this is basically uh my uh, logical test logical test if you press the f9 key it will give you an array of values which you can see twos and pulses control z to undo it now what should happen if this uh, logical test evaluates to a true we want the sum of our amounts so i'm going to select that array lock it with my f4 key and what if it's false i want a zero bracket close on the if bracket close on the fun, uh, on sum now since this is an array calculation we'll have to uh, commit using the control shift enter key drag it down drag it to the sides so we get a month wise uh, and product wise uh, sales totals the last part i want my uh, month wise total to be reflected in this range and my product wise uh, totals to be reflected in this range now instead of uh, writing the sum function dragging it down there's a simple short key you can select a database and you can select those extra rows and columns where you want your totals and press alt equals so you get all your totals at once this is a cool little trick to know now uh, this method probably might not be the best one you can also achieve what we achieved right now using the sum if functions where you can uh, use a helper column i've got this helper column which is hidden on a database sheet this gives me the month uh, serial numbers so if, uh, you, if you have the permission to use a helper column you can use the sum ifs where control shift enter is not required you can also achieve this by uh, using a pivot table this uh, probably is the easiest way uh, i i'd go for this way if i had to uh, solve this problem but sometimes uh, you need your formula to be dynamic as soon as the database changes you want uh, the updated sales figures to update over here that's the only drawback with, with pivot tables you have to refresh a pivot table every time uh, there's a change so uh, that's it for, for today i hope my video helped thank you just in case you like my videos you can subscribe to my channel like and comment you can also visit my website www.needforexcel.com thank you